the prayer request. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. And God heard your prayers a long time ago, even before you asked for prayer. God knows what you stand in need of. Ah, praise God. Got your prayer request. Lady Priscilla, my wife, on the job. All those autistic kids are acting up. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. We're praying against the demons of artism. Right now, in the name of Jesus, it's not just an autistic case, but it's also a demonic case, which is not the child's fault. It's a demonic case that wants to make the child demon-possessed and make the children destructive. But prayer changes things. When the saints of God begin to pray, the Lord will have his way. The glory of the Lord is coming down even right now while I'm talking. Father, in the name of Jesus, God is, I don't even, you know what? I don't even, even have to pray. God is already doing the work. Woo! Just have faith and believe in the name of Jesus. Whoa, Lord! Hallelujah! Right now, right, right now I want to pray for Miss Mac that you asked me to pray for the other teacher, the head teacher. We, we come against that condition in her body. In the name of Jesus, right now, heal her back. Take away that back pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, we speak healing to her body. From the crowns of her head to the soles of her feet. I want you to watch that yoga, too. Me don't realize that yoga also uh, releases demonic portals. It doesn't mean because you do yoga that you're evil. Many of you just don't know. God said my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 because they have rejected knowledge and God said and so I will reject you for being priests unto me and I will forget about your children. We don't want God to forget about the children because the parents forgot about God and you rejected God. You don't want your children to be born in a generational curse. We want to see God bring generational blessings that come from repenting from sin. So I want to just warn you in love about that yoga. Be careful with that and all that meditation. If you're going to meditate, meditate on Jesus, like David said in the book of Psalms, chapter 1. We meditate on the Lord. And when you keep your mind on Jesus, he'll keep your mind in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. A lot of people do yoga, and they believe in soul traveling. Watch that soul traveling stuff, too. You want God to save your soul, but we don't want your soul to travel to hell. God came to save your soul from a burning hell. Oh, come on. That's why he died on the cross of Calvary. Praise the God. Shed his blood for you and me. You don't got to take no LSD. Jesus can set you free and give you the victory. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All we need is a Holy Ghost. Woo! Getting a Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Oh, Lord. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus said after the Holy Ghost. That's come upon you. You shall receive power. So watch that meditation on that part. Because a lot of times you don't realize that yoga opens up the door to demonic portals. And demons don't come to make good things happen. Demons come to make bad things happen. Jesus want to make good things happen in your life. He wants to give you eternal life because he loves you. When you do that soul traveling and astral projections, you got to be careful with that. People are traveling outside their bodies. So be careful with the soul traveling. When you do meditation and yoga, there was a young lady back in Brooklyn who asked me for prayer, came out of New York City, born in the streets, uh, 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 rather born in Harlem and grew up in the streets of Harlem and in the Bronx. She said, Preacher why can you pray for me? She said, her father is a male witch, a warlock. And he sang quartet. Wow. Sang gospel, but he still, he still was doing witchcraft. She said her mother was practicing witchcraft too. And she said every time she found herself going to sleep, she said she found herself going outside of her body. She said, can you pray for me? I said, I would love to pray for you. She said she couldn't help it. She was so excited because her mother was practicing witchcraft. So the demons was tormenting her, which was not her fault. So I began to pray for her over the telephone. I said, Lord, set her free from the soul child. She said she found herself on the roof. Her, her soul, her spirit was on the roof. She was not dead. But she was in the trash. The demons took her out of herself because her parents was practicing witchcraft, soul traveling, yoga. Okay. 
or the mind meditation, the mind control, that stuff releases demonic portals, especially the African cultures. I want to help you, because God loves it. Be careful with a lot of the African cultures, because a lot of the African cultures, God is against. I know you like Black Panther. I watched the movie too. I like to watch Marvel, but Marvel is also connected with demon spirits too. Okay, one scene in the Black Panther, Black Panther was going out of his body. Same thing, soul traveling, went into the other world. That stuff is scary. Be careful with that. We worship them statues and idols, doing voodoo, evil voodoo and witchcraft. That's why them bad things happen. Demons will put you into slavery and the bondage. Jesus said, I come to set the captive free. There's a lot of African cultures. There's a lot of Brazilian cultures. There's a lot of American cultures that God is against. Even though you magnify those cultures, it doesn't mean that God is being magnified and glorified. I'm trying to help you. So Jesus can set you free by repenting from your sins. I say, Lord, forgive me. Wash me. Purge me. If my people, ha, which are called by my name, ha, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. And God said, I will come in here from heaven. I will forgive your sins. And I will heal the land. Now God can heal you. Now God said, my eyes will be open in this place. My ears will be open. Because now you don't throw away the witchcraft and the OG boards and the evil demonic idols and statues. God said, thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not worship any grave images. Only worship God. He's the one who loves you. He wants to restore you. So we're praying for you out there in the name of Jesus against the demons of autism come out those children heal there's a young lady there's a young man right now on the youtube who's autistic playing piano and the lord heal him 11 years old god could do anything shamir you're coming on top regardless of how it look you on god's side god will get on your side no matter how it looks you're coming on top that's for all of you out there the god shall make you the head and not the tail i make your brother only and not beneath Jesus said, I make the first to last, and the last shall be first. That's when you walk up right before God. No good thing with God with 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 with, with, with of whole, withhold from you. Devil try to tongue time me, but devil, you a liar. I'ma stay on fire. There's no good thing that God will with hold away from you to them who loves the Lord. When you walk up right before God and keep God's holy commandments. He give you the desires of your heart. Somebody said, where's, where's God at? Say, I don't believe in God. So where is he at? He never left. He's there. He said, I will never leave you. I never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. But don't leave God. A lot of folk have left God. And God doesn't always respond to all of our prayers. Many times we go and do a test. Read the book of Romans chapter number five. But you may be going to do a Job test. Job passed the test. And God gave him a testimony. Everything that Job lost, God had restored. Back everything Job lost, God restored it. Gave him double for his trouble and gave him triple. Many of you may be going through a test, a trial and tribulation. The devil is mad because you're no longer a prostitute. You're no longer on drugs. It's a stronghold that the devil wants to have on you. But devil, you a liar. To that devil, you a liar. I'm not going to cause you... To make me go to hellfire, I came too far to turn back now in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Be determined to stay free. Be determined to stay with Jesus. Those are those master demons that's trying to keep his strongholds on your hand. Because you're no longer a prostitute. You're no longer a drug addict. You no longer belong to the devil. You no longer belong to the pimp. But now you belong to Jesus. And who the Son has set free. He's free indeed. Tell the devil, you cannot have me. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Tell the devil, I will not let you make me depressed. I will not commit suicide. I came too far to turn back now. Tell the devil to go back to hell. Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will teach you how to love yourself. I belong to God. Stay in your Bible. Stay in your word. God will restore. God will restore. God is healing somebody's body right now. It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank all those who sit to our cash app. Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. For all those around the world, Jesus is still the answer. 
for the world today. And above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Chuck some law in the ambulance. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, become a believer. It's done. It's done. Hallelujah.